We greet you once again and welcome you to our program, Sharing Hope. Besides our parents, who are the most influential persons in our life? Whether we realize it or not, teachers play an essential part in our lives. In our younger years, roughly, we spent several hours a day, about five days a week, 20 days a month, 10 months a year, learning from them in the classroom or doing what they asked us to do. Happily, in all that time, we learned from many different teachers instead of just one. Good teachers change our lives for the better. Outstanding teachers change the world. Jesus was a teacher sent from God. He came to the world to teach us about God, how we can change our sinful ways, live happy lives, make the world a better place. Most of all, he taught us how we can have eternal, joyful, sinless lives. What could be better than that? One of the first lessons Jesus taught was about teaching and the different kinds of students. He did this by telling a parable or a simple story that illustrates a spiritual lesson. We read this parable in Matthew 13, 3 to 9. Behold, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell on good ground and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. What lessons did Jesus want to teach? The sower is Jesus. He drops the seeds of knowledge about God and his kingdom. He compared us, the students, the learners, to four different kinds of soil on which the seeds fall. He also explained the outcome from the grounds. One, the wayside represents those who hear the word of the kingdom, but do not understand it. The wicked one, or the devil, catches away the seed. Nothing grows, no fruit results. The stony place stands for those who hear the word and receive it with joy. But the seed cannot take root. When troubles or persecution come, they cannot endure. The thorny ground symbolizes those who hear the word. The seeds grow, but the plants get choked by the love of riches, cares of this world, and they do not bear fruit. The good ground represents those who hear the word, understand it, practice what they learn, and bear much fruit. Isn't that a simple but straightforward illustration? Many other parables and teachings came from the mouth of Jesus as big crowds followed him to hear what he had to teach. The people listened to him gladly because he taught in ways that they could understand and easily remember. He taught things that concerned the people's daily lives, what they worried about like food and clothes. He led his listeners to the truth, more than just teaching, he gave them hope and encouragement. Back to the story. What kind of ground do we want to be? May we desire to be 
good ground students, eager to hear the word, wanting to understand and practice it, and prepared to produce much fruit of good works, faith, and love. The Bible records the teachings of Jesus. As we read the Bible, we learn how to be healthy, happy, and productive. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for sending us the greatest teacher that ever was. May we learn the lessons that he wants us to learn. And may we learn and know more about you. We pray that you will bless our listeners, each one of them, Father. Guide them in their decisions. Lead them in the paths that they should go. Please provide their needs day by day. We pray in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Here is a song for you. If you have any questions or you would like us to offer a special prayer for you, you may contact us through the following address. Thank you for the precious moments you spent with us. As we part, we wish you peace, hope, and happiness possible through Jesus, our Lord and Savior.